फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम इन खेल यूनिवर्सिटी क्योंकि आपको पता ही शिफ्ट हो गया मैं सो टुडे आई एम विद गौरी हियर इन द ऑफिस तो आज हम देखेंगे कि भाई क्या प्रोसेस रहता है पॉलीमर साइंस का पूरे एप्लीकेशन गाइडलाइन एंड द थीसिस एंड ऑल कि हमें बैचलर में थीसिस चाहिए नहीं चाहिए और जो डॉक्यूमेंटेशन है वो आपका ऑनलाइन हो रहा है या फिर ऑफलाइन आपको पोस्ट करना है वो सब चीज़ देखेंगे सो लेट्स बिगिन सो जब आप पॉलीमर साइंस हम बोल्ड यूनिवर्सिटी या फिर कुछ भी लिखते हो तो आपको लिंक मिल जाएगी पॉलीमर साइंस की और मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में भी दे दूँगा देन यू गेट इन टू दिस इंटरफेस सो नाउ इफ यू सी यहाँ पे एप्लीकेशन के अंदर लिख रखा है वी ओनली एक्सेप्ट ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन प्लीज सेंड ऑल पी डी एफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू मिस डॉक्टर विप के फिशर जो कि अभी के टाइम पे आ, सब कुछ संभाल रहे हैं पहले आ, पहले कौन था सेक्रेटरी थी टी यू बर्लिन में हाँ टी यू बर्लिन के थे अभी ये एफ यू बर्लिन की जो सेक्रेटरी है वो संभाल रही है so if you see the application deadline they are pretty clear written yeah april 30th ko uh, aapka deadline hai winter semester ke liye and october 31st for your summer semester aur application have to contain application form jo ki main abhi dikhaunga ki kya kya chahiye kya kya fill karna hai uske andar and then you need a cv so gori what do you think about the cv ki uh, kaise ek bachche ko cv prepare karna chahiye when he is इन हिज और हर बैचलर्स और इस प्रोग्राम के लिए स्पेसिफिकली आप कैसे सी वी को बनाते हो या फिर आपने कैसे बनाया था कैन यू जस्ट लेबरेट इट ओके इट्स बेटर टू हैव योर फोटो इन योर सी वी एंड वॉर एवर एकेडमिक परसेंटेज यू कैन शो यू शुड शो एवरी रिजल्ट इन परसेंटेज in transcript they can mm-hmm. see the points how mm-hmm. much you got in engineering or bachelors or whatever mm-hmm. but it's better to talk in percentage yeah because they also need the transcript to see what uh, majors or what minors you have taken or all those stuff yes uh uh in the first page then this is the thing like what academics you have done in in subsection you can also mention what kind of applications you have learned for example uh ms office of course is well known but maybe you learn some imaging or other type of software which is complicated or any type of uh, computer language yeah just just mention what you have done in your uh, uh skills bachelor's. like a skills yeah uh and then next page you can talk about your work experience or internship experience or any other conference you have may, may attended something or you can talk about your bachelor thesis also in short then it's better to talk about curriculums like extra curricular activities for example i have done some drama so i mentioned that i won prize there but it's better to show that you have personality other than academics too you can also mention if you have learned german language you can specify that you are mm-hmm. this level german like that then uh, you can also mention few professional contacts for example i use two professors yeah so in the reference uh, you can just yeah. mention them and give their uh, email, uh, email ids address. yeah, yeah. so it, that's the cv mm. it should be yeah and you can also uh, take the europa format uh, from internet and you can just um, yes. get the template and just um, rewrite the stuff yes as per your uh, but uh, as they have experience. mentioned the cv can be in your format too yeah it's n- because i sent it uh as normal i mm-hmm. didn't do any conversion as per their grading system or something because they did not mention anything here mm-hmm. yeah so it should be acceptable yeah uh after cv there is um personal statement of intent that should be of one page so personal statement of intent or sop statement of purpose it's uh, or a uh, letter of motivation is also yeah, same yeah yeah it's 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 all same so uh don't confuse it with resume that is uh, some different thing and the statement of purpose is what uh why are you coming here why uh, you chose this program and what benefit you will get after studying this program that you have to mention what are your goals yeah, after doing this obviously and 
yeah so basically it starts from why you choose this program you start for uh, you start from there uh, from the first paragraph in the second paragraph you say uh, more or less about um, like what you will get from the uh, the program and in the third or in the ending paragraph you say what you will do after uh, this program some of your future goals or what you have thought that after this i will go into uh, some industry or some phd i, I am keen to do research so uh, for that this course will help me and things like and also you can in the last ending paragraph you can also mention why germany yep so talk about some cultural things too. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> even if you don't like it yeah that's the biggest point you can mention in the last paragraph that i <laughs> i want to come to germany so i can uh, like uh, learn many cultures because here you can uh, be friend with many nationalities so uh, after that Mm, you need uh, that what i said uh, the three letter of recommendation yeah so at least three letters of recommendation i would prefer uh, you should get it from your dean i would say the hod of the department and if you had done any mm, let's say research work so your supervisor or also maybe if you have done any internship then you can take the uh, letter of recommendation from the manager and the third one is uh, you can take it from the professor of the department or the one say. who have done work experience of course you can ask the boss also yeah i did that for like i was working in godrej company so i just asked my boss that give me one letter of recommendation because i worked there for one year yeah mm, yeah then coming uh, verified copies of transcripts so yahan pe uh, basically verified copies of transcripts so what you have to do is aapko original send nahi karni hai original uh, like they are asking for the online uh, application but agar aap documents online bhi bhejte ho to it's not that you scan the original document and just send it aapko uh, usko pehle verify karana hota hai then you have to uh, scan it and send it to uh, the office so verify karane ko kya bolte hain usko notify no, yeah. no notary yeah you have to do the notary thing notary. uh wo aap kisi bhi lawyer ke paas jaake aap bol sakte ho ki mere ko isko verify karana hai and he will do they, it they take some money but it, it's fast yeah and they just stamp it on every page and uh, make sure you do the notary of your uh, photocopies not the original one yeah <laughs> you take the photocopies of the original and then do the notary yeah but uh, take your originals along with that because he needs to verify yeah. the original and photocopy i think you know this maybe mm. we are just explaining basics so that if you, you should not forget yeah like, yeah thing. because uh because i i didn't know that uh ki mere ko notary kara ke wo kar na yeah <laughs> i was like i, I sent them the original like i scanned my original documents and i have sent it to them and they replied me ki ye verified nahi hai mm. so then i searched for it and okay, okay. notary bhi kuch hota hai jo ki mere ko karani hai <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so oh, again uh, yeah verified copies of your qualifying degree Same. so degree ke sath aisa hai ki agar aap uh, aapki degree nahi aayi hai let's say kyunki hamara july ke andar khatam ho jata hai uh, session and you are applying for the winter intake of the same year for the same year to aapki degree nahi aayi hai to aap mail mein likh sakte ho ki meri degree nahi aayi hai but i have completed aap transcript verify kara ke transcript bhej sakte ho and yeah they should rep- yeah. like they should they will accept it yeah they have accepted for me so yeah. it's they give it's you a cer- certain amount of months i guess and mm. in that month you have to provide them yeah they they say it like when you come here in germany so along with you take with take your degree also mm. so it's manageable then proof of english competency you can take toefl you can take ielts as yeah. per your Which, which one did you do oh uh, mine was ielts mine too yeah. yeah 
Oh, then application have to be sent by email. This is this, and there is no uh, funding from the course itself. Uh, but the but there is also not a tuition fees. There is only like semester fees of three hundred sixteen yeah. euros or something. And you get to stay in Berlin. Yeah, and yeah, uh, you you also get the ID card to travel in Berlin. So yeah, yeah, you don't get any funding as such from the course. But there is also not a tuition fee. So I think it's hmm. it's good. Mm, then here you can see the first year courses, the summer semester courses. Then in the second year courses, this this is the list from which you have to choose actually. So in the third semester, what you have to do is, आपकी पंद्रह क्रेडिट की एलपी होती है डेट इस एडवांस लैब प्रोजेक्ट डेट यू हैव टू डू और पंद्रह क्रेडिट के आपको एलिमेंट्री कोर्सेज लेने होते हैं जो कि या इलेक्टिव्स जो कि आप अपने मतलब हिसाब से चूज कर सकते हो फ्रॉम फोर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्सिटीज इवन इफ दे सजेस्टेड दिस लिस्ट यू कैन आल्सो गो टू इंडिविजुअल यूनिवर्सिटी एंड गेट वट एवर यू वॉन्ट विच इज रिलेटेड टू पॉलीमर साइंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी दिट दैट ड्रग टारगेटिंग इन एफ यू यू कैन जस्ट आस्क द मेंटर और द बोर्ड और चेक बाय योर सेल्फ इन इच इच यूनिवर्सिटी एंड देन यू हैव टू इनफॉर्म योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफिस दैट यू आर टेकिंग दिस कोर्स विच इज क्रेडिट ऑफ दिस लाइक थ्री क्रेडिट्स एंड दैट्स इट दैट विल बी द मेन थिंग यूर इज जस्ट चेक वेदर इट्स ग्रेडेड और नॉट इट शुड बी ग्रेडेड लाइक लाइक सम ऑफ द कोर्सेज आर नॉट ग्रेडेड बट यू हैव टू Uh, like you think that if i take it it will be graded but it's not they will have credits but yeah. they will not give you grade yeah. it's a difference thing yeah. like that because you have to complete 15 credits in the third semester so be aware of that oh it's the same then this is the schedule and guides manuals for the different universities then yeah. when you come to forms here you can see the application form which is fillable here itself so you save in which intake you want to yeah. or uh, uh, you are opting for whether it's winter or whether it's summer then write your name surname date of birth nationality straight forward i guess yeah email address Uh, permanent address permanent phone number and the your bachelor university degree final grade uh so explanation of grading system uh, it is written on the uh in on your degree certificate yeah. itself which uh grading system you have and date duration here date and duration of thesis topic and grade of thesis so many of the students have asked me ki bhaiya hamare to thesis hoti nahi hai bachelors ki so what should we write here so if you don't have thesis don't worry just uh, say an a here not applicable yeah, yeah. so kyunki ye uh, it's not a deciding factor i want to say that kyunki kaiyo ke dimag mein i also did not do any yeah. thesis kyunki uh, in india मोस्टली हमारे पास बैचलर्स में थीसिस होती नहीं है सो द ओनली थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू फोकस हियर इज दिस इज नॉट द डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर कि आपका एडमिशन होगा इस प्रोग्राम में या नहीं होगा इट्स जस्ट एन लिस्ट क्योंकि उनको पूरे इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स को देखना होता है एंड इन सम प्लेसेज दे डू हैव द बैचलर थीसिस सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज हियर तो अगर आपके पास uh, थीसिस नहीं है थीसिस का टॉपिक uh, नहीं है ग्रेड नहीं है तो कोई uh, दिक्कत की बात नहीं है जस्ट राइट एन ए हियर एंड दैट्स इट क्योंकि इधर कुछ कंपल्शन का भी कुछ मार्क uh, नहीं है इधर एंड दे विल नॉट ऑल्सो आस्क यू कि भाई आपकी थीसिस uh, हुई है या नहीं हुई ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव द एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी बैचलर थीसिस इन आवर ग्रेडिंग सिस्टम और सच आप ये भी लिख सकते हो दैट्स नॉट एन इश्यू बट ऐसा कुछ क्राइटेरिया नहीं है कि आपकी थीसिस होनी ही चाहिए बैचलर्स में देन प्रेजेंट ऑक्यूपेशन इफ यू आर वर्किंग देन से एम्प्लॉय और इफ यू आर जस्ट स्टूडेंट देन राइट स्टूडेंट 
and the work student uh, study experience you can right here future areas scientific interest same either you want to go into the industry line or in the phd in the for the research so you can mention it here information on scholarship received applied for you can uh, say it here then again the english level other language skills then it is uh, for them like how you have heard about this master program from us you heard from <laughs> us mention us <laughs> so it's just that so then they again uh, mention it here that you should also give a cv short letter of intent uh, right in the short yeah recommendation letters undergraduate to graduate school transcript copies of final degree and then just date of the um, filing application and then applicant applicant's signature here you can also fill like uh, the um, what to say the automated sign you don't have to print and then scan again and blah 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 you can do that also so it's fine and then you just have to send it on the mail of dr fisher webke webke yeah. fisher yeah and if uh, you have any other questions you can also actually ask webke yeah, because she is she's really helpful she's very kind and helpful she mm -hmm. understands the new student pressure what they go through and everything so feel free to contact her if you if you have any questions regarding also application mm. process or in general anything like mm. accommodation also yeah. also you can ask in the comment section or reach me out yes. on my insta handle so yeah uh, that would be a issue because i'm also a student representative of uh, this program mm. <laughs> so <laughs> so that's it for today meet you in the next video till then take care Bye bye. Please subscribe the channel to get more content. <laughs>